What's up, everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution, where we talk about everything under the moon, the crypto universe. Today is Tuesday, March 14th. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a Solana NFT collection called Tile Pilots. Now, why are we covering this collection and why are we making a dedicated video for this collection? Well, I absolutely think that this collection is heavily undervalued based on what they are building, based on what the artwork looks like, and based on what the founder has said on his Twitter space. Now, I just wanna share with you all these key bullet points within this collection very conveniently in this video. So if you're about to like what you're about to hear, please like up that button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page, and most importantly, be careful with any of the scammers down in the comments below. I will never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email, so please be careful and invest safely. So with that said, let's dive right into it, guys and girls. So right now, Tile Pilots is around 18 Solana. Now there are around four factions. Now there's enforcers, operators, resistance, and rebels. Each one of these NFTs has its own benefit, and they also have their own native token to stake within your NFT. Now, I wanna share with you that the floor price is 18 Solana, but consider that the trading volume ever since its launch is 742,000 Solana. When I look at that amount of trading volume, that's absolutely huge. That means that this project has a lot of traction, there's a lot of buyers, there's a lot of money flowing into this. The total collection size is around 12,000.5 NFTs, only 229 are listed on the floor. 3,800 holders uniquely own these NFTs, which is actually kind of cool. Now, I want to compare Tio Pilots to its other predecessors within its ecosystem. So if you go to Tio Robotics, this is all the NFTs within its ecosystem. So we focus first on Tio Robotics, 135 Solana floor price. And then we also have Tio Infant at 44 Solana floor price. Even the Tio Oil is 7.5 Solana. That is crazy. So can you imagine where the Tio Pilot's floor price is gonna be? Exactly, it hasn't been revealed yet, the NFTs. Let's go ahead and go into the market floor and into the charts. We're gonna look at the floor price, the listing count, and also the relative strength index. So let's focus on the floor price. Now, as you can see here, this purple line right here is the 14 day moving average. And then the green line right here is the 21 day moving average. Now, why is this important? So since we've gone in a slight downtrend from its inception and launch, I just wanna share with you the reason I think this took a dip to the downside is because we saw Solana jump in price. So when Solana goes from $8 to around $21 at the time of this recording, people tend to change the floor price. So basically it's kind of half off in terms of Solana, but in USD, it's not really half off. It's almost the exact same price or close to it. So let's go back to the moving day average. So why is this important, the 14 day moving average, which is this purple line? As you can see here, we broke out of that trend. We broke right here to the upside past the purple 14 day moving average. And then we saw a slight dip, but notice that we're bouncing right off of that 14 day moving average. Now, if it goes below that 14 day moving average, it doesn't really mean anything, but what we can predict is, is that it could go down to the support level around 12 Solana. But again, I don't think that may happen because there are gonna be a lot of buyers on the sidelines scooping and accumulating these NFTs. So what I could think is it would go to the upside and have to fight past the resistance level of around 23 Solana. Now, if we break past 23 Solana, we also have to break past the 50% Fibonacci retracement level, which is around 30 Solana. If we do that, if we break past 30 and 23 Solana, then we're gonna see prices to the upside of around 46 Solana. That's where I think the price could absolutely go to if the reveal happens correctly the way that it does. I'm gonna show you all that potential in a little bit. Now the listing count has gone up. Ever since at this point, which is right here, which is very interesting, yes, we saw the price decrease, but we also saw the amount of NFTs listed increase as well. Now, will it bounce back off of this resistance level of around 384 and come back down? Because again, we want less NFTs on the floor. The less NFTs are on the floor, sometimes the floor price will go up. But what you wanna see is a relative strength index because you wanna see the amount of activity that's going on within this collection. Now, you saw this huge downside, AKA we also saw a downside on the relative strength index, meaning there were a lot more sellers than there were buyers. But also now we're seeing renewed activity starting from here, as you can see. So right now we could experience a new bull trend for this collection. And that's why we're seeing the support line of the green line. Could it go down to the downside after this? We don't know, but I'm just here to share with you the charts. Now, what are they building? What's going on? What's happening next? Now, if you don't know, Enforcers is the next collection 
to reveal. Now, when I go over to their roadmap, this is the order of reveal. So the first one's gonna be enforcers NFTs, followed by that, rebels, operators, resistance. So that's how it's gonna work in terms of the reveal. So I've been told, at least what I've heard on the Twitter space, is that there's gonna be two week gaps Maybe that's changed, but maybe it hasn't. But there's gonna be two week gaps between each reveal. So say for instance, Enforcers comes out, then you're gonna to have to wait two weeks roughly for Rebels then to reveal and so forth, so on in those four stages. So that's really interesting. Now, who's been accumulating? We also have Christian Hernandez, who has 33 of these NFTs. And what he's done is that he staked these NFTs in order to receive order tokens. Order is a native token for enforcers. And so what can you do with these tokens? Well, you could possibly buy some things. Well, not buy, but really uh, purchase some things with this native token. Now, what could you do? Now, this happened before. Now, this cannot happen anymore. I'll explain why. But say, for instance, if you had an enforcer, you can guarantee some certain things, like say, for instance, eye traits. And you would stake those points, the order points, and use those points to guarantee yourself one of these traits. But recently, they actually just ended that. So now you cannot uh, guarantee any of those traits for your NFTs. And what I imagine is that this just means that if you wanted to choose any custom traits for your NFT, this would be the place to do it. But since it's ended, now whatever NFT is gonna be revealed is not gonna have your own customization. It's just gonna be given to you whatever random trait that you have. So that's gonna be really cool, but at least it gave the opportunity for people to choose one. And what I thought was great about this is that they're creating a new meta where you can literally create something before it releases. That's one of the metas that I think could really catch on and maybe other collections will follow up. But this is another reason why I think Tile Pilots is one of the top collections out there is because it's all about innovation, making things fun. I don't see any other NFT collection kind of doing something like this. So that, I thought that was really great. So let's talk about design work. And I've showed a few designs in our previous videos, but I just want to highlight these. Now, this is all hand-drawn. They actually have really great designers, artists, creating these custom traits, getting a lot of consultation around the artwork itself. And so as you can see here, you're saying there's a lot of detail. Now, there has been some speculation if the artwork was done using artificial intelligence, but the founder has said verbally on the Twitter space that no, there has not been any artificial intelligence or AI to enhance this artwork. All of it was done by hand, done by paying people to make this artwork as appealing as possible. We'll show you some other sneak peeks. This is another one from Soul Port Tom, who is one of the founders of the project. He has this as his PFP, but also another one. This one right here is absolutely gold. Now, the reason I'm sharing this one specifically is because what Tom or Soul Port Tom has said on Twitter space is that he's wanting this artwork to stand out as a staple within NFTs and Solana and all NFT markets. He isn't just trying to make an NFT project to have just good artwork, but artwork that is easily recognizable, but also has a certain stature to it. So if you see somebody with this NFT, you know that there's they're a part of this particular class, that they're in this particular community. And that's absolutely what you want to do. That's why you have these NFTs as your PFP, because when they look at your NFT, they're like, oh my gosh, you know, this person must be reputable, or they uh, bought it on the dip, because who knows when the, maybe these NFTs will reach 100 Solana floor price, and you may have that type of stature for yourself. So I thought that was really cool, just my own perspective on it. Now, another thing you want to know is that once you join uh, a faction, so say for instance, if you join the Rebels group, well, you can join their Twitter pages. So there are different Twitter pages for each faction. So Tyro Rebels is for the Rebel faction. And what they were able to do within their own DAO is decide as a community what you want to do with uh, your funds or what you want to do to acquire assets for your own faction. So the Tyro Rebels basically said, you know what, I want to see what the community has to say about us buying one of these Tyro Robotics, the Gen 1 collection, and adding that to our, say for instance, treasury or whatever. And then what can happen is they would use this robot to stake for graphite token, which is soon to be a liquidity token. And that liquidity token would be then given back to the rebel holders. So that's really cool, right? This is literally based on a vote of a community. And graphite token, I don't know if you can actually earn it while staking your NFTs for your pilots, but I don't know at the moment. But that just goes to show that if you work within a community, you can decide together on her, how to earn that graphite. So that's kind of passive income. So another thing I wanna share with you is basically what Tyro Robotics is doing in terms of partnerships. So they partnered with Tensor HQ, and that's basically an NFT marketplace for pros, quote unquote. And now what they're saying here is that they're gonna be working closely with the Launchpad operations 
It's a joint effort focused on growth, tile collections to be featured on this platform and to be eligible for additional tensor rewards. So again, it's paying back tribute to the holders who own Tile Robotics, Tile Infants, and also the pilots as well. Now, last thing I want to share with you is the pilot cores. Now you won't see this on the Tile Robotics, but they do say for each one of your pilots that you have, you should look for getting one of these pilot cores. I don't know what the utility is, but it says that they are the key to the future of your life in Lunar City. That's where our pilots reside. So as a conclusion for this video, what are my thoughts? I think Tile pilots, again, my own personal opinion, not financial advice, I think these are absolutely undervalued at the time. I do think that these could reach really great floor prices. This could take a dip if Bitcoin and maybe most of the other cryptocurrencies tend to rally because that's what we see. We see people tending to lower the floor price. But imagine this, what if Tile Pilots doesn't do that? What if Tile Pilots happens to be the NFT collection similar to DGods and Newts, where it's a, a hedge against that? Where basically the floor price stays because the community decides it stays and the floor price ends up going up even when the cryptocurrency rallies to the upside. So imagine that this goes to around 100 Solana floor price or even 50 Solana floor price while Solana at the time of this recording is 21 and jumps to $50 or maybe even $100. I think Tile Pilots can absolutely do that because again, it's all about the PFP. It's all about the culture. It's all about bringing back value, but also based on the trading volume, there are multi-millions of dollars that have been traded within Tile Robotics ecosystem. You just cannot ignore. And that Soul Port Tom has a great vision for this project. So really let me know your thoughts down below which faction you may decide to be a part of. Are you gonna decide to have one of these collections or just one of each of these collections or collect all of them? Or are you just gonna watch from the silence to see what happens? Are you gonna wait for the floor price to dip? Or are you gonna wait for the floor price to pump in order for you to ape into something like this? I wanna hear your thoughts down below on both YouTube and Twitter and I cannot wait to read them. With that said, be sure to like up that button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page to receive all of our alpha calls and buy sell orders on both NFTs and cryptocurrency. And we'll see you guys and girls again next time.